hey what's up guys i'm at here and today we have the gs ultra 2 yes finally the gs ultra 2 review is here i've been trying to get my hands on this smartwatch for some time and finally the full review is here it is surely a great apple watch ultra 2 replica and comes with many features inside it and in this video we're gonna be taking a look at all of them but before we start if you're new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated so let's get right into it and talk about the gs ultra 2 so here's the box let's go ahead and open it so first of all inside it we will get the gs ultra 2 then if you lift this up we get ocean straps inside it then we have usb a wireless charger and in the end we get the user manual to get you started with the smartwatch and here is the first look on the smartwatch the smartwatch is set to come in 49 millimeter size and the dimensions are set to be 49 into 43 into 14 millimeters it is set to come in metallic body and the body color is set to be titanium color if you use the apple watch ultra case on it i have a hard case and it perfect fits it all of the additional holes the speaker holes button holes and even the microphone hole is on the same location as the apple watch ultra which means it is compatible with the apple watch ultra cases and accessories after that on the body we also get the gps antenna lining although it does not have built-in gps inside it but it is given the gps lining to match the style of the apple watch ultra then we also get additional holes on the body although except this one all of them are looking closed and as far as i've checked the holes are fake and there are no additional microphones and other sensors in the smartwatch after that we have an insensible knob key here and you won't hear a clicky sound whenever you use this scroll function you can use it to access the widget space just like watch os 10 and you can also use it to scroll in a list or in the cellular menu after that it also has the click function which can be used to go back from a selection and to access the menu just like watch os 10 you can double click it to access app history after that we have the side key and again just like watch os 10 you can click it to access the control center and you can press and hold it to shut down the smartwatch reboot it or call the emergency contact then we have the microphone here and if you look at the left side we get the speakers here then here we have the action key which can be used to access the sport modes and if i go to settings and here scroll down and go to operation button you can change the function of the action key after that we also get the real strap locks on the smartwatch because of which the grip of the straps is really good and the straps won't come out until you press this button and then push the straps and as far as i've checked other than the straps included inside the box it is also compatible with the other apple watch ultra straps and here's how it looks on the wrist what do you think about it let me know in the comment section below then just like apple watch ultra we also get real skews at the back and we have wireless charging and health sensors here we're gonna be testing the proximity sensor and wear detection later in the video if we talk about the chipset the smartwatch is said to be using gl 7013 a6 s chip inside it it is the latest chip in the gl series and overall the performance of the chip is quite good the smartwatch looks smooth the animations are also quite good although a little bit work is needed on transitions to make them smoother other than that it is looking quite good and although the smartwatch is quite similar or almost the same as gs hello watch 3 plus but i haven't faced any restarting issue or any freezing issue on the gs ultra 2 the bluetooth version is set to be 5.3 and if you talk about the waterproof level there is no exact mention if the smartwatch can be used while taking bath or swimming so i wouldn't recommend you to use it directly in water while it can handle the normal water splashes while washing hands or in light rain and now let's talk about the display it is said to be using a 2.04 inches amoled display and as far as i've checked in the dark the smartwatch is using a true amoled display as it doesn't emit light in the dark because of the amoled display the overall colors and the color saturation and the clarity of everything is quite good the resolution is 410 into 502 and the text and the images are quite clear on the smartwatch watch and i couldn't find the torch application in it so let's move to a bright watch face and here is a look at the bezel size the bezels are even from all of the sides now let me quickly show you all of the languages supported by it And these were all of the languages supported by it if you talk about the watch faces we get five built-in watch faces in the smartwatch and this watch face will be replaced by the custom watch face you use from the gallery other than that if you install a watch face from the dial market then you will have to replace it with one of these five which means it can keep a total of six watch faces in it if you look at the watch faces first of all we have this compass watch face or the newest watch OS 10 watch face it is not themed but it is interactive and you can access the applications shown on it the compass 
also works well on it it also does not have the added option like apple watch os 10 then we have this watch face and it is also not themed and again you can access the applications shown on them then we have this snoopy dog watch face it has different themes on it this pointer watch face also does not have themes although the js hello watch 3 plus had themes on the watch faces in the end we have this watch face and it also does not have themes if you talk about digital watch faces then if you go to settings and here go to universal and scroll down to time settings then it supports both 12 hour as well as 24 hours clock format and you can also set date as well as time directly in the smartwatch and talking about the pointer dial watch faces it has sweeping seconds hand and the watch faces are not locked unfortunately and if you use the crown key in the upwards direction it will take you to the widgets page and now if we take a look at the home screen we get the notification center it has a transparent background and you can see the watch face at the back then we have the split screen then from right to left we have the quick access applications and from bottom to top we have the widgets page the widgets are interactive and you can access them directly from the widgets page you can also tap and hold on the widgets and remove the one you don't like here and you can also print your favorite widget at the top and if you scroll down then we have the all apps option and like the apple watch os 10 you can also swipe up to go to the cellular menu and again just like watch os 10 you can scroll down from here to go back to the widgets page the widgets are also live and show live data then we have digital clock in the widgets page the date day and the month then if you move to settings and talk about display and brightness then it has default brightness option here and here we have the screen display option if you talk about standby dial option so for example if you're not using screen off dial and you're using any of the watch face from here so let's use this as the standby dial then if you go back and scroll down and on raise to wake choose show standby watch then whichever watch face you are using if the display is turned off whenever you will raise your hand it will show that watch face which will again turn off the display after a few seconds but this can only work when you are not using the screen of dial if you're using screen of dial then it will always show the screen of dial here we have screen duration which has the maximum option of 20 seconds the automatic option haven't made any sense to me yet because even after using the automatic mode the display turned off after around 20 seconds then we have the always bright mode which has the 20 minutes option and enabling it from the control center will keep the display turned on for 20 minutes it does not have the always on display option for the watch faces after that we have the aod mode so you can also choose its time it's the always on display which turns on when the normal screen time ends and as i showed you it can stay on forever until the battery dies although it might look a little dimmer in the video it is given a very good brightness level and in my opinion it will be visible in the daylight and in the race to wake option if you use the show digital watch then it will show the digital clock on the screen of dial it also comes with the tap to wake option to wake up the display and it also has the palm gesture to turn off the display or to turn on the screen of dial and it also comes with the race to wake option to brighten up the display after that you can also add a passcode in the smartwatch so instead of the sounds and touch option we have the notification tab here in which you can increase or decrease the volume level then we also have the vibration enable or disable here we have turn on screen when you receive a new notification then we have encoder vibration if you turn it off there won't be any taptic feedback on the crown key i'm gonna be showing you the function of media audio later in the video and in the end we have the mute mode option here and here we have the dynamic island option which will show a dynamic island here whenever you have unread notifications if you talk about the menu styles then it comes with two menu styles one is the cellular menu style and the other is the list view it comes with menu opening as well as menu quitting transitions and it also has app opening as well as app quitting transitions and the menu is quite smooth and it looks a lot better compared to the compared to the hello watch 3 plus and the icons the saturation and the movement also looks better than the hello watch 3 plus it uses the GS Fit application, although even the application is a lot similar to the GS Hello Watch 3 application which was Hello Fit Pro. So it probably looks like the same product but with a different name, although this one looks a little bit more stable compared to the GS Hello Watch 3 Plus. And the watch faces are also not themed in it while the watch faces were themed in the GS Hello Watch 3 Plus. So in the application, first of all, we get the dial market and all of the watch faces in the dial market are available for totally free all you need to do is tap on the download button and then you will have to choose the watch face that you want to replace let's replace the snoopy dog watch face and tap on confirm and now it is adding the dial now it's transferring the dial to the smartwatch so now the dial has been transferred and here is how it's looking it looks quite good then if you want to use your own picture from the gallery as a watch face we'll have to tap on the edit button here so here you can select three pictures for example i'm gonna delete these ones and tap on add photo so i'm gonna select this picture as the 
first one then i'm gonna select the second picture let's go with this one and then i'm gonna select the third one so let's go with this one so there is no option to customize the watch face you cannot move the clock you cannot use pointer dial on the custom watch face and you also cannot change the phone color so i'm gonna tap on save the custom dial and this watch face will be replaced by these three watch faces so it's gonna add all three pictures one by one so here it is after that this watch face will work like a themed watch face and you can tap on it to change it to the next picture in my opinion there should have been an option to change the font color or change the position of the clock then you can either add alarms from the watch application then we have the sitting up and drinking reminder then you can also select the units from here and you can also push weather updates to the smartwatch it shows the weather condition the high and lows of the current day we also have some more information here and if you scroll down we can also access the weather for the upcoming days if you get the find watch option using which the smartwatch will start to ring so you can easily find it and in the applications we have the find phone option using which the smartphone will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it then we have the card bag option using which you can bind the qr codes of facebook qq whatsapp and wechat and then using this application anyone can scan that qr code to directly reach your social profile here we have the chat gpt option so you can also access the application directly in the smartwatch tell me about iphone 7 so it heard me pretty well and here is the answer it is not showing the complete answer here to see the full answer you will need to open the phone application then we have the notifications or message push option and there is no no other option here which means it can send you the notifications for only the applications which are listed here if an application isn't listed here it is not supported for notifications so as i showed earlier it has the option to wake up the display and show banner prompt it also vibrates on the notification and here's how the notification center looks if you talk about longer notifications it does not support scrolling and it also does not support emojis it does not have red dot alert but if you use the dynamic island option then it shows the new notification in the dynamic island and it can only show the red dot alert here that you have an unread notification if you want to mute the incoming notifications you can turn on do not disturb mode then the notifications will be silently added in the notification center and the notifications won't be shown as a prompt on the home screen then we have health monitoring option here we have sleep monitoring we're gonna be testing later in the video if the smartwatch has proximity sensor and wear detection only then i will believe the sleep monitoring after that as advertised the smartwatch comes with a 4 gigabytes of storage capacity and to take advantage of the storage you can add music in it all you need to do is tap on import icloud music then for example i'm gonna select this file which is a beep file and after that tap on synchronize and now the file is being transferred so the file has been transferred so once done you can open the music application and here you will have to select local play then you can play the imported file directly on on the smartwatch and not just that it also has the option to connect with wireless earphones so you can connect your wireless earbuds directly with the smartwatch for example i have my headphones here and if i tap on new equipment i can connect with them and once the pairing is done i can play the sound directly on the headphones currently the sound is being played on the headphones and if you want to simply control the media playing on the device then you can use the mobile phone music option to take more advantage of the storage we also have this sound recording application here so if you want to store the music files on the smartwatch then you can record on the watch recorder tab but if you want to record the files on the smartwatch and then export them to the smartphone then you will have to use the app recorder function and once you are done with the recording on the app recorder function you can end it here then you can keep this sound and now when you will go to the recording tab here you will find your file so you can play it directly here although unlike hello watch 3 plus it does not have the option to transfer the file to the other applications or save it to files and after recording in the app recorder the file won't be saved in the smartphone smartwatch it will be deleted from the smartwatch and saved in the smartphone if you want to keep the file in the smartwatch you will have to use the watch recorder and once you are done with recording on it it will keep the sound in the smartwatch as you can see here if you want to delete it you can tap here and then tap on this delete icon not just that you can also add pictures in the smartwatch so you can use the crown key to move in the pictures like the GS Hello Watch 3 Plus, it does not have the option to zoom in on the pictures. And like the Hello Watch 3 Plus, you can also not use it directly as a custom watch face. To delete a picture, all you need to do is swipe up and tap on the delete icon. In the end, you can also add ebooks in the smartwatch. As far as I've checked, it has supported TXT and RTF file format for me, and the PDF didn't work. So here's how the application looks like. You can swipe up or down to increase or decrease the brightness. You can tap here to toggle between dark mode and light mode. You can use the 
down key to move to the next pages and you can also use the swipe gesture to move to the next and the previous page now let's move back to the watch application you can also add your favorite contacts in the smartwatch then we have the wallet option so you can save the qr codes of paypal wechat and alipay and then those qr codes can be accessed in the wallet application and anyone can scan that qr code to directly access your payment page we also have motion sensing names in it gs hello watch 3 plus also has this option and i finally figured out how to use it so i'm gonna be making a full video on it so make sure you have the notifications turned on for that in the end we also have the firmware upgrade option i have the smartwatch for about a week now and it hasn't received a firmware update since then in the end talking about the watch application you can also connect it with apple health i'm gonna allow it then you can also set your goals here here we have the profile but as far as i've checked it does not sync the profile picture and the profile information it can only show the name of the profile here then here we have the exercise tab and in the end we have the health tab to show you the health data i didn't find any option in the application to use the smartwatch as an nfc access car to unlock doors but if you do the nfc tag test then the smartwatch passed it and it can be used as an nfc tag to perform many shortcuts and also keep in mind that the smartwatch cannot be used for nfc payments it uses the same connection as the watch application for bluetooth calling all you need to do is enable this icon in the control center once done you can access the phone application and access the dialer pad here and call a number directly from here the call fails since it does not have a sim card inside it and not just that it can also receive calls directly on it and it shows name as well as number of the caller and the good thing is that it also supports whatsapp calling as you can see here so you can tap here to accept the call and once the call is accepted you can mute the call from here and you can also tap here to adjust the volume level but it does not have the option to transfer the call to the smartphone and back to the smartwatch in the end you can end the call from here using bluetooth calling you can also access the voice assistant directly on it how's the weather today it looks like it will be cloudy today daytime temperatures will hover around 29 degrees with overnight lows around 30 and the volume level is good enough to be heard properly and it is also quite clear and now let's talk about the music application and the control so with bluetooth calling enabled if you try to use it the sound will be played on the smartwatch and if we try the media tune control option and if i'll turn it off then the sound will be played on the smartphone but i also won't be able to control the media playing on the device although i can increase or decrease the volume and if i'll enable media audio but turn off bluetooth calling then the sound will be played on the smartphone and i also won't be able to control Control the volume level and it also won't be able to control the media playing on the device which is a big negative point as you won't be able to control the media playing on the device without shifting the sound from the smartphone to the smartwatch so the hello watch 3 plus still takes the win for that and now let's talk about the rest of the applications for that i'm gonna switch to list view so first of all here we have physical training it has a lot of sport modes here and you can tap on the three dots if you want to start free training or if you want to set the time distance or calorie target exercise record store all of your exercise data after that we have heart rate blood oxygen level temperature checker and the glucose level checker and if you use any of them in the air the sensors are continuing to work so far but now they have stopped working and it has given the error that please wear the watch to mild the data which means it has proximity sensor now let's try it with the strap at the back so the sensors are still working and again they have stopped working after a few seconds and it has again given the error now let's try with something hard at the back so so far the sensors are working again and it has actually started to give values on a hard surface so i'm a little bit confused about it now because it didn't give values on cloth or in the air but it started to show some values on the box so looks like the smartwatch has proximity sensor and weight detection but the weight detection needs a little optimization then we have activity application or the pedometer so let me quickly take a few steps in the room to see if the pedometer works fine or not so i'm back after taking a few steps in the room so after casually walking around 35 to 40 steps it counted 50 steps so the pedometer does work but it is not 100 percent accurate then we have the sleep tracker and if the weight detection is optimized it will surely work well then we have beach training you can tap here to customize the breathing rhythm and tap here to adjust the time then if you scroll down we have the compass application and you can tap here to access the digital compass here we get the stopwatch application and just like dsl watch 3 plus it does not have any transition while moving to the next page you can tap here to start the stopwatch and tap here to reset it there is no option to add laps but the good thing is that while using the stopwatch you can exit the application and it will continue to run in the background then we have timer and we have some predefined times here you can tap here to set it according to your need so i'm gonna set it for one second and when the timer ends 
it starts to ring it is a good option in my opinion you can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch but after setting the alarm i can tell that you cannot use custom ringtones and you can also not use the imported music as the custom ringtone like the hello watch 3 plus so the hello watch 3 plus is surely better when it comes to the customization in alarms so let's wait for the alarm to ring here's how the alarm is shown it rings as well as vibrates and here we have the snooze and stop option and the alarm looks good enough to wake you up then we have a few games in it we have aircraft flight and fly through we also get the calendar application here and you can swipe here to move to the next or the previous month and we have calculator and the basic functionalities like addition multiplication division and subtraction work fine but the percentage function does not work absolutely fine with multiplication there is a workaround that if you want to find 10 percent of 50 first type 10 then percentage and then multiply it with 50 then it will give correct answer but it cannot be done with addition for example if I wanna do 50 plus 15 percent then it's gonna simply divide 50 by 100 and won't give any answer so the calculator application is the best in the hello watch 3 plus in which all of the functions work 100 percent well after that the map application shows you your approximate location then we have wechat qq facebook whatsapp twitter instagram and telegram to show you the notifications from these applications separately then in the end we have the drainage application by which you can rotate the crown key for drainage then the smartwatch will start to vibrate in different patrons to push the water vapors out of the smartwatch from the speaker's hole but still i wouldn't recommend you to use it directly in water and these were all of the applications in the gs ultra 2 in the end let's talk about the battery life as advertised the smartwatch comes with a battery capacity of 450 million pair hours and to charge it you can use the wireless charger provided in the box and if i talk about my personal experience with the battery now i've been working on this video for about two and a half hours now in which i've spent almost 50 to 60 minutes to complete the recording of this video during this time the smartwatch has lost 9 percent of the battery only which equals 1 percent drainage almost every six to seven minutes and during this time i didn't use the battery mode or the low power mode and the display was continuously turned on for the last two and a half hours even when i was not interacting with the smartwatch the screen of dial was turned on so the battery life is surely great on this model and i think with the screen of dial enabled it can easily give you two to three days of battery life so this was all from today's video and from the GS Ultra 2 smartwatch. What do you think about it? I think it's a great smartwatch. It comes with many features inside it. The battery timing is also quite good. It has an AMOLED display. Then we also get very smooth transitions. Although it does need a little optimization. And it also has wear detection and proximity sensor. Which also needs a little optimization. It is a lot similar to the JS Hello Watch 3 Plus. But I've noticed a few changes like in the watch faces. And also the watch application is different. What do you think? about it let me know in the comment section below if you would like to place an order i'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below and i would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch if you would like to see more videos like this make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications i'll catch you in the next one until next time this is imad peace